how... I'm an apple and this is a game about how someone stole my lunch. So... Oh, well, someone actually came and stole it. Oh, that was good. The door opens with a jingle as I walk in. This must be management's doing again. They said it's to improve morale when we are too busy to head outside. But what type of cafe only has one coffee machine? Well, that's true. They didn't even provide us with any coffee filters. But there's paper. I'm tempted to tip over the nearby trash can, but decided against it. The janitors are on the same sinking boat as us. My only saving grace is lunchtime. And today is special. Any other day, I would gun out into the big city and treat it myself at a local bistro. However, a new project sprang up and I have been forced to stay inside during lunch. My very co-workers also have to live this type of life, suffering from malnutrition and gastritis. But why should I suffer alongside them? What awaits me behind these rich doors? Is my masterpiece, my katsudon. It looks kinda cool. I mean, like the container is super cute. The night before, I flattened the plumbest pork loin. The crispiest punk uh, breaded it in the crispiest panko and deep fried it in the finest oils and spices from my pantry. Double fried to perfection, then smothered it in beaten eggs, sweet onions, and homemade tonkatsu sauce. All atop of steaming bowl of fluffy rice. Well, it's not steaming anymore. Is it that kind of like lost image? Salava drips down as I imagine my fork piercing through the skin to reveal its soft white meat inside. It's unfortunate I couldn't eat it fresh off the stove, but at least the microwave here is more competent than the company's infrastructure. With a happy hum, mm -hmm, I walk over to open the fridge. The shelves are emptier around this time, so I easily spot my bowl. Despite my bowl's innocent pink coloring, it's from a prestigious lunchbox brand. My food deserves the best, of course. I pick up my cute bowl, but I notice something off. Saw stains on the sides of the bowl slip. Did I spill it on the way to work? Now that I think about it, it's much lighter than it was this morning. Oh no. With trepidation, I unclip the lid. <gasps> it's gone! Well, that's a sad image! What to do now? My thick cut of fried pork. My egg slurry of dashi and soft onions. My fluffy steamed fries. All gone. Only a light brown puddle and some rice grains remain. Isn't it considered like bad luck to leave rice grains in the black bowl? Maybe? I think I have read it somewhere some time. Anyway, is this work of a thief? Wait, no, I shouldn't be doubting my co-workers. Maybe someone took my lunch by mistake. But this morning I only saw clear Tupperware containers. How could anyone mistake my lunch for theirs? Did someone steal my lunch? My stomach gorgles by painfully. It tells me that my decisions to skip breakfast for say wool foolish one. <gasps> and my phone alarm goes off. My 15 minute break is about to end. And you use it mostly to like brag about your lunch. Even if you did like have it in the fridge, it, you wouldn't have any time to eat it. What should I do about this thief? Oh, what should we do? Well, give up with your job or report to HR. Well, the infrastructure in the workplace is apparently very bad. So maybe this won't do. But isn't this a bit like OWA? Going wait. And giving up is not an option if it's about our delicious lunch. So let's report it. The most rational decision is to report it to the human resources. I take out my phone and speed dial HR. 
It is important to have your most important contacts ready when you need them. And yours is HR? Is that a bad sign? Hello, this is Kale of Human Resources. How may I help you? Hi Kale, I would like to report a theft. What was stolen? My lunch. Was it during company hours? On company property? Yes, and yes! Unfortunately, we cannot compensate your loss. I don't want compensation, Kale. An employee's lunch is their personal property? Yes? But isn't it worrying to have a theft happen on company grounds? We have cases like this very often. The company is not responsible for them. Maybe it's like, says it in the papers. Yes, I know, but if you have anything else to report, please send an email. My lunch break is starting. Kale hangs up before I can say anymore. Does it happen often? Then do something about it! Nobody likes Kale. With nothing else I can do, I begrudgingly pour myself a lukewarm cup of coffee and return to work. I bet the coffee was bad also. The guy has like terrible luck. So it's the next day. Despite yesterday's incident, I still brought my lunch. Good for you. I can't fall the, in the face of despair. After all, I made Mapa Tofu. How did I make it again? Again, you are going to use your 15 minute like lunch break talking about your food instead of like going to check it. Oh? Well, you can't make it with rat poison. Well, I guess citron peppercorns. Yes, the space of spice of my life. It's the same container. How could I forget the nose-numbing smell of roasted Sichuan pepper? The thick red oil of the bean paste. The firm, bouncy texture of the cube tofu. With an internal heat so good it transcends the taste buds. Mapa tofu. Eating plain rice is great, but it can't be the spicy fragrance of chili oil and peppercorns. Yeah, he's enthusiastic about his food. But this one is different. I spiked up the heat, adding twice the amount of ground peppercorn and chili. A spice too powerful for the mortal tongue. Right before I kiss my baby goodbye, I sprinkle on some more pepper. That's going overboard! It's going to be so hot! If anyone dares open my bowl, the red powdery explosion awaits them. Oh, we are going to like get the thief! Five hours later. Lunchtime arrives and I rush to the break Oh, you weren't like in the break room already. I misunderstood it. Perhaps today will be different. I take out my bowl. The lightness of the silicon bowl is foreboding. But even if they didn't steal it, how could you eat it if it's so like spicy? <gasps> it's empty! But how? Why? Who is this fruit crazed glutton? Wait, if someone ate my super spicy Sichuan Mapa tofu, then their lips should be bright red right now. Within the remaining minutes of my break, I looked far away for a mysterious red lipid caper. But to no avail, my pepper kissed burglar was nowhere to be found. There are too many employees in this company wearing lipstick. I gave up on finding those hot lips and went home. Luckily, the stench of peppers clung to my suit and people avoided me on the subway during rush hour. You, you just went home? What about the lunch break? Shouldn't you go back to work? Yeah, it's the next day. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. On my way home, I caught a supermarket sale. Uh, well, if that's what you like. 
That's why I was compelled to make fish head curry for lunch. A big steamed fish head simmered in the thick milky curry sauce, sliced tomatoes, okra and eggplants float around. Succulent bows of fish cheek and the big sticky eye drenched in tang curry sauce. A vibrant comfy dish to ease the stress of this weary week. But will it survive until my break? That's a question we are all looking forward to the answer for. The thief is still out on the loose, ready to pounce. I need to protect my meal. This is my last stand, my last course of action. What is going to happen after this? What would be a good plan to actually catch a food thief? I don't know, but aren't they like the little 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 refrigerators like you can put on the table? But if you get one of those and just have your like lunch right beside your table, that would be handy. What should I do? Hmm, mass email lunch at cubicle or fridge note. I think fridge note probably won't work. Lunch at cubicle is like it's reasonable course of action. But how about mass email? I'm kinda interested about that one. Let's go with mass email. I need to confront my problems head on. In a civil manner. If our HR won't help me, who can? I'm my own best ally. My plans? I need to direct my complaints where they can be heard loud and clear. Let's write an email. Oh, the music is so good. It will be a compelling and persuasive essay about the wrongs I have faced this week. Using the hamburger method, they taught me in high school. What is that? Greeting? Oh. Address, uh, you? Threat? Hope, wish, or hope? I wish. Closing. If I. Hope this email finds you useful, let's do it. You are pathetic. I wish a pitch and shits on your new fancy suit. If I ever meet you, I'm going to. It's not safe. You never know. Well, that went well. Yeah, I guess. It was a. Loud and clear, as he said. I had sent an await a response. If the perp felt any guilt, they would reply. Right? I don't think so. Why would anyone reply? <laughs> my phone buzzes on my desk. Oh my god, did someone actually reply? It's my manager. Hello, Jill. Is something the matter? You're fired. <laughs> Why? Was it necessary to CC everyone? Of course! Why shouldn't I? Was emailing our entire board of directors necessary? It caused our stocks to drop by 5%. Well, that's bad. How are you going to compensate for that? I thought the company doesn't compensate for losses. So, did you guys hear from the food thief yet? And she just ends the call. I noticed that I have been blocked and my work email has been deleted. You think you can farm me without severance pay till later? I ripped the PC tower from my work desk and run out to the building. If the company won't compensate me, then this shall be my compensation. Really? Ending number five, an eye for an eye. Performance reviewed by Kale. Kale, who everyone hates. Fair. Well. It was a fair! What happened to my lunch? But that was fun! Yeah, so. Whoever stole the lunch or lunches, it remains as a mystery. So, but I mean, like, now that I got fired, no one is going to steal my lunch anymore. At least at that place. 
I don't know what happens to the computer that I stole. Or took as compensation. But anyway, that was so fun. I mean, like, the writing was good. And the music is so catchy. It makes you want to, like, do this all the time. Anyway, thank you for watching. And see you around next time. Bye-bye.